In this video, I'm going to show you the symbols feature in Gravit Designer. So what we're looking at here on the screen is a logo design that I created using Gravit Designer for a band. This is an actual client, an actual project that I executed in my web browser using Gravit Designer. This is for the heavy metal band called Of Ghosts and Kings, and you can see the logo here. What I want to show you is the symbols feature. For example, if I was going to take this logo and use it on multiple documents, say I was creating a flyer or a poster for this band, the symbols feature could come in very handy for me. And I'm going to show you that now. The symbols panel is located in a tab over by the layers panel. So we have these three tabs, layers, libraries, and symbols. That's what we're going to focus on in this video, the symbols. So it says here, no symbols defined. Symbols let you reuse content in your design. Create a symbol with the plus icon from your selected elements. So I have to have something selected, and then I click the plus icon here, which creates a new symbol that I can reuse over and over again. And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to create a a couple of them. So I've got the logo here that's sort of divided up into different pieces. And I have the text areas all in a group. This is live text. I can go in here and edit it. And I've created this using the same techniques that I've showed you in other videos in this series on Gravit Designer. What I'm going to do is just take the icon. So I've got this crown and the skull. These were both created with the pen tool. I'm going to select both of them. And now that I have something selected, you can see that plus icon lights up for me. And I'm just going to simply click it. There's a pop-up window that asks me to enter a new symbol name. And I'm going to call this skull icon. There we go. And click OK. And this will add it to my symbols library. This is a feature request that I had for Google Drawings, if you remember or follow some of my Google Drawings videos. We have this available in Gravit Designer. And I'm not saying this is better necessarily than Google Drawings. What you lack in Gravit Designer is the ecosystem of Google Drive. It definitely has some of the features that I'm missing in Google Drawings. I'm going to add another symbol. And I'm going to add this group of text right here. So I'm just going to select it. If I go over to my Layers panel, you can see I have a group selected here, which has all of these things in that group. And I'm doing this to show you that you can create symbols with editable pieces. So this whole thing is in a group. I'll just click the plus icon here and call this TTL. That's my shorthand for title. And there it is showing up in my symbols library. I'm going to do one more, which is this uh, logo here. I'm going to change the color of it quickly to... Uh, red. Now, this has been condensed into a raw path. So I have converted all of the text and the icon all to a single path. If I go to, back to my layers, you can see here it's selected in my layers panel as a compound path. So it's all one shape. No editable text that's all been converted to curves. If I press D on my keyboard, you can see I've got all these points and I can't edit the text anymore other than changing the actual shape by changing the curves and points. So back over on the Symbols tab, I'll click Plus and call this the full logo. And I'll just say Paths. Click OK. And there it is. Now you can see that things that I have added to my Symbols library are now named and there's a little tooltip for each piece that is being used in my symbols library which is actually very handy also if i have it selected you can see that it's highlighted here with a little pink border in my symbols library and i just want to show you how this will work if i go back over to my layers tab here i'm going to create a new page so this is a distinct canvas inside my same document meaning there's nothing in this canvas right now. If I go back to my Symbols tab, now I can just drag and drop those symbols into 
my canvas area. What this allows me to do is have icons or pieces that I want to reuse handy and at my disposal very quickly. So imagine if there's maybe an icon or your own logo or brand collateral that you reuse often. This would be a great thing to be able to utilize to help maintain consistency as well as increase your speed of producing great graphics. If you're using Gravit Designer, how do you use the symbol library? Let me know in the comments on this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.